Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Xenoblade Chronicles. In between episodes, I found Canyon Valcine. Here's a clip of me kicking his ass. That's him. He's actually swooped by me like three or four times. I finally have Sharla headshot. Alright. This shouldn't be too bad. Uh, thank you, Pitch in, in the comments for telling me I was in the right area at the very least. I, uh... It, the biggest problem with this quest was actually getting it to not rain, and I know that's random, um, but it just wouldn't stop raining. Like, I would travel, change time, do a reload a save, and it just kept raining. And, uh, finally it stopped. You know what? Go to sleep. For no reason. These guys don't even need any healing. This guy's, what, almost 20 levels lower than us. Might as well do a uh, chain attack then. So we will do this. That was some good damage. <laughs> good, good job, Charles. I wish that thing had a shorter cooldown. Yeah, to be fair, he is a lot lower level than us. Uh, Civil Rubble Wing. And what do we get in the treasure? I don't think I need those. Hey, three slots. We already I also was able to complete a couple other quests. We'll turn those in eventually for now. Let's uh, look at this heart to heart. Okay, requirements. Ah, oh, this is the wrong one. I thought this was the Charlotte Dunman one. Silly, silly me. Uh. So Ryan Dunban. That's close to Ryan Sharla, right? Nope, oh god, nope. There, there. There we go. One year on. Didn't we already No, I think it was named something else. Has it really been an entire year since the Battle of Sword Valley? That was a rough time for us, us Homs. Lots of people died. Sometimes I think I'm cursed. It's not right that I survived the battle when so many did not. Uh, don't talk like that. Well, I was glad you're, you came back. What can I picture Ryan saying? Oh, both. And they actually do a really good job with these heart-to-hearts and actually giving these guys options. For the most part, there were some that I was like, I don't think he would say that or she would say that. But for the like, for the most part, uh, when you give an option, you're like, oh, I can picture him saying either of these. Well, I'm glad you came back. Yeah, Fiora too. The smile on her face went from ear to ear. I remember. But it was a big shock seeing you carried in on a stretcher like that. I'd prefer if you didn't bring that up. I wasn't exactly thrilled. Uh, actually, I don't think he would say I can't help it, so I know how you feel. It wasn't a good day for me either. I was so jealous of you. It burned me up. Jealous? Why? Did you want to fight at the Battle of Sword Valley? I was in Defense Force too. I wanted to fight alongside you. You were young then, Ryan. It was a year ago, dude. What was he, like 17? Too young to go to war. I... How old is Ryan? He's like 18, right? Both him and Shulk are 18? Yeah, well, but I would not say that anymore. You've changed a lot in a year. You're stronger now. Mentally and physically. Haha, <laughs> watch your back, Dunban. Because I'm going to overtake you before you know it. But when that day comes, I'll be waiting. But know this. It's going to be no walk in the park. Dunban, the hero of the Homs, was laid, has laid down the gauntlets. It's on. Aw, bonding. Yeah, I think you're like 18, right? How old Sharla? Cause freaking Gatto looked like thirty. For 
maybe 40. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna be battle hardened. Uh, where are we going? We're gonna go to this heart to heart up here, and then we're gonna go turn in those quests. And hopefully, I find those NPCs relatively soon. Now, I think this one includes Charla. One of these included Charla. Well, actually, multiple of these have included Charlotte, just these two in particular. I just don't know which... I thought it was, like, Brian Charlotte and then Sh Dunban... No, it's Dunban Charlotte. Okay. Maybe I'm just biased towards Ryan and Charlotte. Now Dunban's moving in for the kill. Dunban's right arm. Oh, this should be touching. Unlike Dunban's right arm. Dunban, how's your arm holding up? You mean this old thing? The others told me what happened a year ago at Sword Valley. It must have been very painful. I don't need your sim. Uh... I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think he would say I don't need your sympathy. That seems like too. I wouldn't want to say stubborn, because Dunman is a little bit stubborn in his own ways. It sounds like a very confrontational way to say it. It hardly bothers me now. I used to, I'm used i used to this left-handed style now. It must be tough, though. Only a year ago, you were fighting with the Minato. And this is your reward. You think losing the use of one arm is going to hold me back? You really can't use your right arm, then. That's a real shame. I have no regrets. I'm perfectly fine with this. I have no regrets. Without the Minato, we would never have uh, repelled the Mecha. I did what anyone would have done. There you go again, showing off in that special Dunman way. I wouldn't be in any fit state to be showing off if that's if not all, for all you. What? Wow. That's some honesty right there. I can't believe I've stripped away so many layers qu so quickly. Did I say too much? No, it was quite sweet actually. Yeah, going for the kill, done, man. <clears throat> Can I ask you not to tell Ryan? <laughs> yeah, about this conversation. If you ever found out, I wouldn't hear the end of it. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. Ah, uh, bonding, it's so fun. Stale and Ryan's girl. I guess they're not technically boyfriend and girlfriend just yet. Yet. Alright. Let's go. Who do we actually need to talk to for these? Um, current. Actually, you know what? Let's go to new for a second. So the old soldiers tested to the Colony 9 quest that I randomly picked up one day when I was there. I think I did that on camera. It was I had to talk to like an old man. Apparently, he was swooning over a, a very young girl. And one of his soldier buddies was like, hey, dude, stop that. And then he got pissed off at us and told us to go kill this monster. I can't find the monster. Like, I've gone to Nopon Arch many, many times in between episodes. In between cuts sometimes, and I just cannot find this goddamn thing. Um, and the Rep Rep Club Monado stuff, I just haven't bothered looking for it. It's probably going to be completed soon. Anyways, uh, a tantalizing treat. Poka Poka. Poka Poka. I don't know where you were. This one was actually a bitch to complete. The flies didn't really drop much at all. Took a little bit of while. All for 620 experience points. Warren, I know where he is. And... I know where you are, too. Okay, so Warren, at the very least, is going to be... Was like, here, and then... Uh, 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 there's one of them. Is that him? Hey, Warren. Do you know that Shillix, 
Skrillex, buddy. I thought as much. So you're the one who's been helping him out recently. He seems to be carving out a nice living as a jack of all trades. I sometimes think I should have gone into his line of work. Probably just my sense of rivalry. I love a bit of competition, me. Okay. I knew you'd come through for a trusty Warren. Warren, Warren. Now I can make my butterfly biscuits. That is disgusting. That is wrong. And my. Well, I suppose I should tell you. My butterfly ribbons. I told you, it was embarrassing. They'll make a great tie-in product to go with the biscuits. No. No, they won't. Watch this space, fellow believers. They'll be the next big thing. I'm glad everything worked out. Butterfly biscuits. This time next year, I'll be a millionaire. Well, there won't be a next year, buddy. Right, I've got a lot to do. Catch you later. And poof, he evaporates into the ether. You have boots that are way, 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 way too late in the game. Hello? Did you open up a shop? Interesting. Hey, you lot. How's business? Things aren't going as well as, uh... Business has been gone really downhill. The butterfly is just up and left, so I can't shift any of my biscuits. Were they live butterflies? Like... I've got boxes and boxes of them sitting here going stale. But I won't let it get me down. I'm looking for the new... You're looking at the new Warren. I've got a brilliant plan. Oh, I bet. I was thinking of... Uh, I was walking through town the other day when I heard something. I heard about the, a Nopon who knows how to get the butterflies back. I'm hoping you lot can team up with him and to help me. Um, so this is an on-level quest. Well, as on-level as these are getting. I knew you wouldn't let me down, you your old friend Warren. Start by asking any of the Nopon. That's racist. I didn't pay proper... Yeah, I bet. It's up to you. It's up to you all, then. No problem. There's probably going to be a problem. There's, there's literally always a problem. Um. Okay, one second. I gotta check something over here. I don't think any of the Nopon are over here. It's just... I think these two... Just gotta make sure these guys don't have quests that I just didn't see. Uh... Pitch and left a comment telling me that. Where's the guy? These guys will have a quest related to Sharla that I should probably do. God damn it. How's it going? Where did you go? I've been looking for you. Did Zell tell you about us? That's the problem, you see. She's been telling people about us, and now her dad knows. That doesn't sound good. Thinking of helping. Ah, uh, yeah, yep. You should see him. He's absolutely fuming with rage. He kept saying that he'd never approve, no matter what. I did my best to bring him around, but it was no use. He wants five scra scratch jewels and two lucky chilkin rings. But that's impossible, and he knows it. Nothing is impossible when you have Shulk on your side. Things aren't looking good for me and Zell. Oh, just a lope. I'm begging you, please help. Are you sure you've thought this through, Lexi? I mean, he did ask you to get those things for him. Maybe you should think this over some more. No, I fought long and hard and I did consider finding them myself. But I know I can't do it. I'm asking you out of desperation. This is the only way I know that won't end in us breaking up. Well, if you're sure. That's another one on level quest. How did I miss you? Because I walked by you last time. Is there an option for this quest where I can just go tell the dad that he's trying to get us to do what he wanted? Oh, we get two. Ah, we don't have any of the others, huh? We throw the little test. Permanent Elka. Scratch jewels. I'm assuming they're going to be like level 80 or something. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm kind of disappointed he actually had a quest. Not that I wasn't going to do it, just that I completely missed it last time. And I'm pretty sure I walked by him. 
Speaking of quest... We... Talked to her last episode, didn't we? She didn't have a quest then. Oh, I must have reached a new affinity level or something. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm not blind. Excuse me, but can you help me? The smoke building from my home has indeed become... Uh, indeed because of that thing. You must understand the position of High End here, and... We can't have everyone think we're incompetent now, can we? Sounds like you got a problem. Yeah, dude, her house is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. Burn, motherfucker. Burn. I see. You wish to humiliate me before giving me an answer. Yes, fine. I do realize the smoke is a disturbance to others. So, shall I get down on my knees? Rated T for teen. Or will you accept? Please. I can't say any more about that than I've already did. Or already said. Drones that are probably going to be not good for us because we're already past that experience level. Ha! You could have just said yes and saved us time. I need three dated plugs and three dated cranks. God damn it, I'm pretty sure I sold a lot of dated crap. You won't find any around here. Good luck anyways. I am hoping I didn't sell those. Maybe I didn't ever have them and I'm hallucinating. Chances are I'm not. Alright. We're... They're on this side. Let's go turn in those quests before... I forget about them. Oh, we do need to go to Mechina Forest too. Uh, we'll do that in a little bit. Dang. Should have expected you to be over here. For some, for some reason I stopped and looked somewhere else. You wants to call... This is not the quest I was looking for. You want to call Butterflies back to Colony? If you... I mean, it's good we found it, but he we have another quest of his. If you wills do want, I say, I can call them back for you. I needs for you to bring me ten death leeches. Liches. Worry not, they are necessary to call back the butterflies. You return triumpheth. Next, you need to defeat multi. Oh, you son of a. Go to the bottom of the slugs and defeat ten tempest fangs. Do not let your guard down. What quest is this again? Hey, Poco Poco. For some reason, I didn't think you were the one that gave us the quest. Even though I read your name, this is it. Friends have done well. Poco Poco will go to Talneth right away and get him to cook it. Does it taste bad, Poco Poco? Gulp, Poco Poco, can't wait. Tasty takeout in my tum tum. Give me now. Oh, well, it's yum yum. Give me, give me, give me. Ah, delightfully delicious. It tastes succulent and savory, sweet and scrumptious. And a bit weird. Poco Poco want more because it changed his voice. Uh, okay. Oh, Poco Poco does not want to share the special taste with you. Alright, uh, sped by that a little fast. We, we good, Poco Poco? Oh yeah, let's check our affinity. We probably leveled up. Yeah, I could have actually checked this earlier when I was going through the NPCs, finding, yeah, we're level 4. Alright, I guess I gotta go, uh... Oh, to actually Mechina Forest. We're gonna go visit our old friend, the... Actually, I don't think I showed him on camera. Is it here? Uh, it's like right here. So we'll just go here. It's uh, the Nopon Sage. I think that was like in uh, one of the side quests I was trying to grind out off screen and he just sort of appeared. Yeah, because I got like, uh, was it the crit runes from him? I think it was the crit runes, runes from him. Or maybe it was the double strike or double attack. What the hell's double strike? I think that's actually from Final Fantasy. <laughs> Now, I'm pretty sure he's right down this path. Like, I have to go to a rock and he'll show up. 
And you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll even go check the Nopon Arch while we're here. That might happen off screen, mind you. But if I can go defeat that guy, that'd be pretty nice. You guys look like enemies, the flowers. Was it here? Somewhere around here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just actually had to go to check what time he actually spawned. 12 to 15. Not a big time span. I was at like 9. Was it you who summoned me? Do so you wish to approve of you and grant you my treasure? Before that, I will ask you if you are aware of my greatness. Could you go into more detail? Yeah, maybe there's... Charlotte, why are you still in my party? What? Do you mean to say you know nothing of my greatness? Rethink your answer and give it to me again. Uh, we all, all we heard from the children is that you live here. Then you must find out more about me in return. Listen to what the little pawn in the village has to say. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Only then will you come to understand my greatness. Your greatness? What benefit would knowing of your greatness be to us? I will not give you the treasure as long as you maintain that attitude. If you doubt my greatness, talk to the little pawn. Return when you have done so. Legend of the Sage. Legend of the Hidden Temple. Ah, uh, man. I mean, I, oh, I'm skipping over this, guys. Well, whatever. That's Pippiki of me? Okay. Guess we can go back to Frontier Village and ask the little pawns about, uh, the no pawn sage. I only got a bunch of kill quests right now to actually go to. Well, kill and fetch quests. Uh, where would Little Pawns be? Little Pawn, Little Pawn. Oh, uh, Picky Pee. Picky Pee? For your Amelia. You can actually watch that. You know what? Let's watch that. There we go. A day like any other. It's gonna be a cat fight, isn't it? Why do tranquil places like this bring back so many memories? Perhaps the quiet clears your head. Or the head. So what's on your mind, Fiora? Let me guess. Shulk? Well, sort of, but not just him. Maybe I shouldn't tell you this. You'll know my secrets. I'm very interested to know. You are? Okay, I'll tell you. Um... Come on, ladies, let's be friends. Alright, I'll tell you. There's this wonderful park near my home. I do miss it. Once I made lunch for Shulk and me, and we had a picnic there. You don't say. Anything else you fancy posting about? <laughs> Your future... <laughs> Your children. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for you, Milia. Living happily ever after. I didn't mean to boast. It's just that day I'm always remembering it, and I don't know why. Did anything special happen? Yeah, she died. Uh, no, nothing in particular. Uh, let me think. Well, no, she didn't die that day. That was actually the first... That was like the first... Uh, second episode, probably, because of the cutscene, but... Control Fiora, we go to the park. They eat. Then we had our first heart-to-heart. -heart. Then we go to Tepper Cave, we come back, she dies. Uh, that probably took more than a day. Well, let's, let me think. Damn it! I remember it being the same as any other day. There was me and Shulk, and we had lunch, and that's it. If that's your idea of any other day, I'm quite jealous, Fiora. Actually, Shulk looked really, really happy that day. More than he usually does. 
That must be why it was one of the, my favorite memories. I have a memory that I cherish. Mother and I eating at the Villa. That sounds wonderful, Milia. I can recall no better time in my life. My mother smiles, radiant. I remember it like yesterday. Will you ever have happy? T Will we ever have t happy times like those again? God damn, you guys are downers. I was name you both Debbie. Debbie Downers. Believe in Shulk. He'll make it happen for you. Milia, I'm sure you're right. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to call the episode here for today. A little shorter than usual, but next time we'll go around Frontier Village. Uh, we'll talk to the Little Pawn. In between episodes, I'm going to get all that stuff that we need for... I thought the... the the plane thing over there that was at the Hav Havars. I thought it was moving. I was like, Jesus. Anyways. So yeah, I'm going to get all the uh, fetch quest, kill quest stuff out of the way for next time. And yeah, so thank you for joining me. If you liked the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section and check out some of my other content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.